Hello guys, welcome to today's class. In this class, we are going to discuss few more problems based on Jacobians. One of the problems I already have written the board. The problem is if x equals r sin theta cos phi and then uh, y equals r sin theta sin phi and z is equal to r cos theta. Find partial derivative of x, y, z is depend overall depending upon more than one independent variables are r theta phi. Therefore, partial derivative of x, y, z with respect to r theta phi. Actually, the, what they provide x, y, z are nothing but is nothing but uh, spherical po polar coordinates. These are the nothing but spherical polar coordinates. Now, what they given in the problem? First, I told number of times. First, you write it the uh, uh, Jacobian in terms of uh, determinant. Then, easy to identify what are the partial derivatives are expecting with respect to what are the independent variables. Now, from the definition of Jacobian, Jacobian of x, y, z with respect to r theta phi can be written as dou x by dou r in the row wise, dou x by dou theta and also I have to take dou x by dou phi. This is nothing but x with respect to r theta phi. Next, move to y. y, partial derivative of y with respect to r, with respect to theta, with respect to phi. Okay. And also I have to take z with respect to r, with respect to theta, and then with respect to phi. Okay. Now this shows that if you want to find out these first order partial derivatives, we are expecting x, y, z or nothing but functions of r theta phi. Anyway, is already given r theta phi. Therefore, better I to take the given. What's a given actually? Given is nothing but x equals r sin theta cos phi. Okay. And then what is my y? y is nothing but r sin theta sin phi. Okay. And then uh, what is my z is nothing but r into cos theta. Okay. Now, this is a very simple function. No need I to find out partial derivative of x with respect to x with respect to r theta phi. If you want to find out separately also, no issue. What is my dou x by dou r? With respect to r, r only vary the remaining, uh, what about uh, the remaining uh, independent variables are temporarily constant. Therefore, sin theta into cos phi is constant. What is the derivative of r with respect to r is 1. Similarly, what is my dou x by dou theta? With respect to theta, r and cos phi are constant. Then what is uh, derivative of sin theta is cos theta. Okay. Now, uh, derivative of uh, this is uh, cos theta. And next, what is my dou z by uh, dou x by dou, dou phi? We have to take with respect to phi. With respect to phi, r and theta is constant. Therefore, r into sin theta is constant. What is uh, derivative of cos phi? With respect to phi is minus uh, sin theta. Okay, these are the nothing but what uh, x with respect to r theta phi. Next, I move to y with respect to r. Y with respect to r is nothing but sin theta into sin phi into pi, uh, derivative of r with respect to uh, whatever r is what? 1. And also I have to find out partial derivative of y with respect to theta. With respect to theta, uh, what are constant? Uh, r and phi are constant. R into sin phi is constant. Derivative of sin theta with respect to theta is cos theta. Similarly, dou y by dou, dou, dou phi is nothing but r into sin theta is constant. Derivative of sin phi with respect to phi is cos phi. Okay. I move to next is z. In the z, what, dou z by dou r with respect to r, theta is constant, cos theta into derivative of r with respect to r is 1. Dou z by dou theta with respect to theta, r is constant, derivative of cos theta is minus sin theta. Okay. Now, what is partial derivative of z with respect to phi is 0 because the z is not a function of phi. Both r and theta is constant. What is derivative of constant is 0. Okay. Keep in mind, this is a one of the important thing. Here r and theta is constant with respect to phi. It's not involving any phi. What is derivative of constant is 0. Now, these are the value we are going to substitute there in the determinant. Therefore, in the next step, the 
Gaussian of x y z with respect to r theta phi is nothing but determinant of determinant of dou x by dou r is nothing but what actually sin theta into cos phi. And next is uh, with respect to theta, uh, now we get r cos theta cos phi. With respect to phi is minus r sin theta sin phi. Next move to with uh, y, second row. Sin theta with do y by do r is sin theta into sin phi. Do y by do theta is r sin uh, theta into sin r uh, cos theta into sin phi. Okay. R cos theta into sin phi. Next is with respect to phi is r do y by do phi is r sin theta into cos phi. Next, dou z by dou r is cos theta. And next, dou z by dou theta is minus r into sin phi. Sin theta, not phi. Because z is r cos theta, what is dou z by dou theta is minus r sin theta. Derivative of cos theta is minus sin theta. This is 0. Okay. These are the values. Next, you know how to evaluate the cross the determinant. Plus, minus, plus. In the next step, yeah, the rest of the thing you know how to simplify the cross the determinant. Okay, fine. In the next step, this is nothing but sin theta into cos phi. This is cos phi half. This into this. If you want this, I'm going to write in the first operation is this. This is plus. This is minus. Now what we get actually is zero. Once you go for up arrow, minus, minus, you already have minus, minus into minus plus, right? Uh, R into R is R square, sine sin theta into sin theta is sin square theta into cos phi. Okay. These are the values for what actually this one. First term. Then second term, minus R into cos theta cos phi half. Uh, now I'm going to remove this operation. Okay. While this comes in first, first row, second column, you neglect that. We are going to take operation this with this and also this with this. Okay, fine. From this, while taking the down arrow plus, taking up arrow is minus. Okay. Now, zero. Okay, again we get uh, 0 minus, once you take up arrow minus r sin theta cos theta r into sin theta into cos theta into cos phi. Yeah, for uh, time being, now we have to remove this uh, operation. Okay, fine. Yeah. Okay, fine. First try to write properly for this function sin phi sin this. Okay, fine. And next, the this is actually what uh, this one last term plus plus into minus is actually minus. We get minus sine. Okay, fine. Minus r sine theta sine phi. This one into now what uh, now we have this element occurring first row, third column you neglect. Now we have to take operation between these two values plus this become minus. Okay, fine. Uh, uh, minus r sin square theta sin phi. Okay. Again, a power of minus r into uh, what cos square theta sin phi. Yeah. This is a expansion of the plus the determinant. Then now, we have to Simplify. Now observe carefully. Once you multiply this, what we get actually here: r square uh, sin cube theta yes into cos square phi. Okay. 
and next minus into minus plus r square uh, sin theta okay and then cos square theta cos theta into cos theta is cos square theta into cos square phi okay fine okay now from these two terms you take common factor what's a common factor minus r sin uh, sin phi is common factor now you already have please try to understand here what's a common factor from these two terms minus r sin phi is common now is already have uh, minus and outside minus into minus plus already have r r into r r square we are taking what's a common factor from these two terms if for your reference i'm going to write top of this uh what is a common factor here minus r sin theta we are taking common factor for this okay now once you take this common factor minus into minus plus r sin r square sin square uh not uh, we are taking uh, sin theta we are taking sin phi yeah observe carefully what's a common factor r sin minus r sin phi is common Minus into minus plus. Uh, now we get what what we are going to take here. Uh, phi sine phi. Therefore, this is sine theta only. Therefore, already one sine phi outside is there. Sine phi into sine phi is sine square phi. What's the remaining now? The remaining is sine square theta plus cos square theta. Observe carefully. Don't confuse. now what we are going to take common factor is minus r sin phi minus into minus plus r square sin theta you already have sin phi we get sin square phi now what's the remaining sin square theta plus uh, cos square theta you already know that what is sin square theta plus cos square theta the basic fundamental result is 1 again group first to take common factor what's the common factor from these two the common factor is r square observe carefully what's a common factor that's a very very important we are going to take uh, sin theta we are here having sin theta and also cos square phi from this to term we are going to take r square sin theta and also cos square phi yeah r square sin theta because here even though have sin cube here what's the least power of sin is 1 sin theta and cos square phi is common What's the remaining? Here, yes, sine square theta plus cos square theta. What is sine square theta plus cos square theta? Is one r into sine theta into sine square phi. Okay. Now again, this value is one. Again, you take a common factor from these two terms. What's the common factor? R square sine theta is common from both the term. What's the remaining? Cos square phi plus sine square phi. Again, cos square plus sine square phi is one. Now, after once you expand uh, determinant using fundamental definition of determinant, don't leave it as it is. Try to simplify as possible. Try to simplify. Now, finally, we get what's the answer of this uh, determinant value? R square sine theta. It can't simplify further. Therefore, we are going to leave it. This is the answer of the given the cobian of x y z with respect to r theta phi. Keep in mind. First, we express Jacobian in terms of uh, determinant. After once we express in the form of determinant, what are the first order partial derivatives are expecting in the determinant? First, you find out. After once you substitute the values, you expand the determinant using basic concept definition of determinant. After you expand, don't leave it as it is. As possible, I to simplify with the help of the fundamental uh, simplification. Once you simplify that. After that, uh, then finally, this step. For example, here, as possible, I to simplify. Finally, we get r square in, r square into sine theta. I can't simplify further. I'm going to leave it as it is. This is the solution of the given the Gaussian of the problem. Okay. Now I'm going to show uh, zoom out the entire problem in one screenshot. Observe carefully. This is a function they given. This is nothing but actually spherical polar coordinates. Now they given already x y z. Keep in mind, whenever you want to find out the Jacobian value, 
first you express the Jacobian in terms of the determinant. Then immediately, immediately you have to know that if you want to find out these partial derivatives, what type of functions are expected. Here, uh, once you express in the form of determinant, immediately it's clear x, y, z are functions of r theta phi. Now, anyway, is already given x, y, z are functions of r theta phi. Okay. Now, uh, move to the next problem. Okay. Next problem. Today's second problem. Yeah. If uh, if u equals x plus three y square. Minus z cube, minus z cube, and uh, then v is 4x square yz, w is 4z square minus xy. Okay, I am going to repeat once again the fun function. If u is x plus 3y square minus z cube, V is 4x square yz, W is 2z square minus xy. Evaluate Jacobian of uvw with respect to xyz at the given some particular point at 1, 1, minus 1, 0 means x is equal to 1, y is equal to minus 1, z is equal to 0. Yeah. First, you have to express the given uh, Jacobian in terms of uh, determinant. Jacobian, partial derivative of u, v, w with respect to x, y, z is nothing but Jacobian of x, y, u, v, w with respect to x, y, z is nothing but First order partial derivative of u with respect to x, y, z. Yeah. Second row is first order partial derivative of v with respect to x, y, z. Third one, first order partial derivative of w with respect to x, y, z. Okay, fine. Now, if you want to find out these partial derivatives, we are expecting u, v, w are functions of x, y, z. The given already, u, v, w are functions of x, y, z. What's the given actually? u is equal to x plus 3y square minus z cube. Okay. And also the given v is nothing but 4x square y, z. And also w is nothing but 2z square minus x, y. The given u, v, w are functions of x, y, z. Now I have to find out dou u by dou x. Yes. No, no, it is already given in the form of x, y, z. Directly I have to find out dou u by dou. What is dou u by dou? Yes. With respect to x, temporarily the remaining independent variables are constant. Therefore, y and z are constant. What is derivative of x with respect to x is 1. And then dou u by dou y. What is my dou u by dou y is with respect to y, x and z are constant. Therefore, 3 into what is derivative of y square with respect to y? 2y. We get 3 to the 6, 6y. What is dou u by dou z? What is uh, dou u by dou z is with respect to z, x and y are constant minus what is derivative of z cube with respect to z? 3, z square. Therefore, what do you, now we get dou u by dou z is minus 3 z square. Okay. I move to the next one, v with respect to x by z. Okay. Or dou v by dou x with respect to x, y and z are constant, 4 y z are constant. What is derivative of x square? 2 x, 4 2 is 8, 8 x by z. Okay. And also find out dou v by dou y. With respect to y, 4x 
phase z is constant deriv derivative of y with respect to y is 1 okay do v by do z with respect to z y x and y are constant derivative of z with respect to z is 1 similarly do w by do x with respect to x z constant is equal to 0 minus y into derivative of x with respect to x is 1 And next, do w by do y with respect to y, again z and uh, x is constant. We get minus x into derivative of y with respect to y is one. Do w by do z with respect to z, z is very cos z minus zero. This is where I find out the derivative of the function with respect to x by z. What we are going to do? First, we have to substitute these values in the Jacobian. Okay. The cosine of u v w with respect to x y z is nothing but determinant of do u by do x one six x six y and then minus three z square. Do v by do x is eight x y z. Do v by do y is four x square z. Do v by do z is four x square y. Next, do w by do x is minus y. Do w by do y is minus x. And then do w by do z is four z. Yeah, these are the values. But observe carefully here. I don't want the cosine of u v with respect to x y z. I want Jacobian of u v w with respect to x y z at which point one comma minus one comma zero. Before going to evaluate this determinant, first try to substitute the values of x is equal to one, y is equal to minus one, z is equal to zero. We get very simple value. Then easy to evaluate the determinant. Suppose they want Jacobian of u v w with respect to x y z means at evaluate directly. But here I don't want the Jacobian value. Want Jacobian value at the particular point? Yeah, Jacobian of u v w with respect to x y z. We are going to take based on which fun which point at one minus one zero. Now we are going to substitute these values in the determinant one minus six because y is minus one. So it is zero. Therefore, this term must be zero. Okay, fine. Z is zero means product must be zero. Z is zero, the product is zero. Ah, uh, yeah, product is zero. Next, x is equal to one. Yeah, one square is one. Y is minus one. We get minus four. Okay. Y is equal to minus one. Already have minus minus into minus four. We get actually one. X is equal to one minus. One. And then z is equal to zero. This is zero. Then we are going to solve easily for this. Yeah, there are two ways. If we want to evaluate this determinant, next at the end put x is one, y is minus one, zero. That is very tedious. But they are not asking that value. No, they are asking at the particular value. What's the particular value? This one minus one, zero. Better at substitute in the Jacobian before going to expand the Jacobian. Then easy to find out the value. Okay, now one need to you know that zero, yeah, minus half, yeah. Once you go for upper arrow, this minus, but minus into minus plus we get four. Okay, the middle sign is minus, but already have six also minus. Okay, better write minus six, zero. Okay, upper arrow, minus half. One into minus four, we get minus four. Whatever the last term must be zero, because this product, this value is zero, not necessary to find out the rest of the thing. Have to simplify. Minus four, okay. Minus into minus plus, minus into minus plus six. Ah, uh, cosa twenty-four. Minus twenty-four plus twenty-four is twenty. This is the easiest way to find out the value of the uh, 
corresponding Jacobian at the particular point. Now, uh, before we move to the next pro problem, I want to discuss this because observe carefully one thing. Whenever you want to find out Jacobian value at a particular point, first you expand the Jacobian in terms of the determinant. What after that, what are the first order partial derivatives values are required? First you find out and substitute. Before going to expand the determinant, first you take at which particular value I want this Jacobian. At which particular value I want? 1 minus 1, 0. Once you substitute these values in the determinant, we get very simple value. Then easy to expand the determinant. Please take care. Suppose they give this type of problem in the exam or maybe in the test. Now, this is the easiest way to solve the problem. Whenever I want to find out Jacobian value at the particular point, after we expand in terms of the determinant, before going to expand the determinant, first you have to substitute that particular value for x, y, z. Then after that you expand the Jacobian. Then after the, once you expand the Jacobian, very easily we get the required value of the given Jacobian for the corresponding particular point. Okay. Now we move to the next problem. Okay. Next problem. Move to next problem. The next problem is if u equals x into 1 minus y and v is xy, find the Jacobians. Find the Jacobians, J equals Jacobian of UV with respect to XY and J dash. What is my J dash? Jacobian of XY with respect to UV. Stop. Verify that. J into J dash must be equal to 1. Our identity determinant are 1. Yeah. First you find out these two Jacobians. Jacobian J and J dash. Okay. Solution. J is what? Jacobian of UV with respect to XY. I told number of times. First you express Jacobian in terms of the determinant u with respect to x and y, v with respect to x and y, v with respect to x and y. Okay, fine. Now, if you want to find out these values, I want what type of uh, function u and v are functions of x and y. They're given already. What's the given actually? Given u is x into 1 minus y. What is my v is nothing but x, y. First, you find out uh, dou u by dou x. What is dou u by dou? With respect to x, which is constant, y is constant. Therefore, this factor is constant. 1 minus y is constant. Derivative of x with respect to x is 1. What is dou u by dou y? Dou u by dou y, x is constant because it's a product. What is derivative of 1 is 0. Uh, derivative of minus y with respect to y is minus. Now I have to find out the value of dou v by dou x. What is dou v by dou x? With respect to x, y is constant, y is 1. y into x is 1. Dou v by dou y is what? x is constant. Derivative of y with respect to y is 1. Now these are the values we get. Now I have to substitute in the Jacobian. Okay, fine. J equals determinant of dou u by dou x, 1 minus y. Dou u by dou y is minus x. Dou v by dou x is y and uh, dou v by dou y is x. Yeah. Now you can uh, easy to evaluate this. Just two cross two determinant, very easy. Then we have to take uh, 
up lower arrow and upper arrow while taking upper arrow is minus lower arrow is plus x into 1 minus y minus into minus is already have minus upper arrow minus minus into minus plus x now uh, x into y okay yeah minus into minus plus x y you simplify that x minus x y plus x y what's the remaining x is remaining the value is x next similarly i have to find out the value of what actually j dash what is j dash here yeah j dash is nothing but the cobin of x y with respect to u and v okay fine that is nothing but partial derivative of x with respect to u with respect to v partial derivative of y with respect to u and with respect to v observe carefully if you want to find out these two values first i take express x and y in terms of x and y are functions of u and v or first i take express x and y in terms of u and v but what what is the given actually the given is what is a uh, uh, u the given u is x into 1 minus y what is v x y now i to express x and y are functions of u and v how to express now i to simplify u equals x minus x y what is x y because i want to express u in terms uh, what about that uh, x and y in terms of u and v what is uh, x and y from the given v Therefore, this implies u is what x minus v. From that, we get automatically what is my x. What is my x? U plus v. We get x uh, u or uh, x in terms of u and v. This is the way I have to find out. Okay. The next is you have uh, u v is x y. You already know that x value. From that, we get y value. Therefore, this implies what is my y is v by x. What is x? U plus v. Now automatically we get x, u, uh, x and y are functions of u and v. Observe carefully. X and y are we get fun, the functions of u and v. Now we have to find out what are the partial derivative. Do x y do u with respect to u which is constant v is constant. And also what is do x y do v with respect to v uh, which one is constant? Uh, v uh, u is constant only v is varying. Do x by do v. Okay. Now I to find out similarly for do or uh, what about uh, do y by do u. With respect to u, v is constant. Just like a derivative of one by x with respect to x. What is derivative of one by x with respect to x? Minus one by x square. Okay. Fine. Uh, now we are going to take what actually minus 1 by x square. What is x? Just like a otherwise you take derivative of 1 by x plus 2. What is derivative of 1 by x plus 2 is minus 1 by x plus 2 whole square. Here 2 is v because v is constant minus 1 by u plus v whole square. Okay, fine. Similarly, I have to find out dou y by dou v. But you can't do it like that because both numerator denominator having v I go for quotient rule. U plus V whole square, denominator whole square, denominator into derivative of the numerator with respect to V1 minus numer numerator into derivative of the denominator. U is 0, but V is 1. Now, I have to simplify this. U plus V minus V is cancelled. What's the uh, remaining is U divided by U plus V whole square. Now, this is very simple. U plus V minus V minus v plus v is cancelled. What's the remaining? u by uh, whatever u plus v whole square. Okay. Next we have to substitute these values where in j dash. j dash is nothing but determinant of dou x by dou u is 1. dou x by dou v is 1. dou y by dou u is nothing but minus v by u plus v whole square. Okay. This is nothing but dou y by dou v is nothing but u divided by u plus v whole square. Okay, fine. 
no matter is a two cross two determinant just you multiply that u divided by u plus v whole square once you go for upper arrow minus minus but you have one of the constant is minus we get minus into minus plus v divided by u plus v whole square now the, the, the common thing is u plus v whole square what's the remaining in the numerator u plus v what's the remaining one by u plus v okay yeah now we are now we are going to uh, proceed the cobn of xy with respect to uv is what actually 1 by u plus v but already find out the cobn j value in terms of x and y and once you find out once you get the value of j dash after that i am trying to express this also in terms of uh, x and y otherwise you leave it as it is and then i to verify i to verify j into j dash therefore consider to verify that j into j dash is one or not yeah j into j dash yeah what is my j value x what is j dash 1 by u plus v now i try to express u and v also in terms of x and y from the uh, 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 this one you know that already what is uh, my x after the simplification x is nothing but u plus v therefore we get one by Answer we get one. Therefore, it's verified j into j dash. This way, sometimes verify, sometimes they're going to give true that. Now, before moving to the next problem, I'm recall once again all the steps. Okay. Now, observe carefully the given function is you now. It's not possible I to show it entire problem in one screenshot because uh, it's a little bit lengthy problem. Okay, fine. Yeah. Now, first I'm going to show it uh, j value. Okay. Yeah. What is uh, my j value? See here, first you find out j and j dash and verify j into j dash. First you express j in terms of uh, determinant, the Cobain in terms of the determinant. Once you express that, we get a first order derivative of u and v with respect to x and y. If you want to find out these things, first you have to express u and v are functions of x and y. It's already given. Then easily I have to find out the value, substitute and simplify, we get j value. Similarly, I want to find out j dash. While finding j dash value, observe carefully, we have to take a uh, little bit thing uh, for this while finding j dash. While finding j dash is nothing but, first you express in terms of the determinant. I told number of times, whenever I want to find out Jacobian, first you express in the form of determinant. After that, I have to decide that, what type of functions are required based on the partial derivatives involved in the determinant. Once you express that, we get dou x by dou u, dou x by dou v and dou y by dou u, dou y by dou v. If you want to find out these first order partial derivatives, first you have to express x and y in terms of u and v. Now once you express that, now first you take the given function, try to express x and y in terms of u and v. Therefore what I did here, I take in v is nothing but x, y. We substitute, we get x value. Once we get x value, automatically we get y value. And then you find out carefully with respect to x, with respect to u and v, and with respect to uh, what actually uh, x and uh, uh, x and y with respect to u and v. I think uh, it's clear for this part. And then once you find out j value, j and j dash value, they are asking to verify whether it is equal to 1. Yeah. After substitute that, first value x, then try to express either x in terms of u and v or uh, u and v in terms of x. Then you know that u plus v is a this answer we get one. This is a way I have to do it. Okay? Now I move to the last problem for the Jacobian. I am covering all the types of problems. Please try to understand that. Okay? It's not possible I have to show this problem, entire problem, one screenshot. That's why if you want, I'll show it once again for half of a problem on the screen. Okay. Yeah, this is the first part. And then this is the second part. Okay, last uh, problem. Yeah. It is not possible. I all the problem I to discuss in my video. Uh, please uh, refer any uh, textbook and then you solve more problems, especially for engineering uh, 
higher engineering mathematics by Graywall textbook is your prescribed book. Please go through the, uh, the textbook that uh, volume of the edition of the textbook is 43rd. Okay. The next problem is the fourth problem. If u equals square minus y square b equals 2xy and x is equal to r cos theta y is equal to r sin theta find find dou of uv means the covariance of uv with respect to r and theta. Yeah. The covariance of uv with respect to r and theta. I want to find out. Okay. Solution. The covariance of uv with respect to r and theta. See, suppose you expand, here I am not going to expand that, suppose you expand that, what we get actually, dou u by dou r, dou u by dou theta, dou v by dou r, uh, dou v by dou theta. If we want to find out these values, u and v are functions of r and theta. It's not given u and v are functions of r and theta. It's not possible right, to convert directly, easily, Possible, but it's not possible. It's not possible to convert easily. Uh, u and v are functions of r and theta because they given u and v are functions of x and y, where x and y are functions of r and theta. Suppose so x plus x and y in terms of r and theta, we get u and v are r and theta. It's not easy. It's very tedious. Now it's given u u and v are functions of more than one variables. Again, these variables are depending upon more than one independent variables. Now, why don't you go for chain rule for the Jacobian? Now, from the chain rule uh, concept for Jacobian is u and v are functions of x and y, where x and y are functions of r and theta. Therefore, what are the independent variables r and theta? From the con definition of composite function, what's the chain rule for the Jacobian is Jacobian of u, v, with respect to x and y into Jacobian of x and y with respect to r and theta. This is the easiest way I have to find out. So whenever the given function is in the form of composite function, please try to understand composite function in such cases, how to find out the Jacobian using one of the property, then easy to find out. This property is where go for in which case suppose the given function must be composite function is a composite function uh, example what the given function okay first you find out though you uh, first Jacobian find out the second Jacobian Jacobian of uv with respect to x and y from the definition of Jacobian this can be written as partial derivative of u with respect to x and y and also partial derivative of v with respect to x and y. Okay. No need I to find out separately because this is a very simple. We already given u and v are functions of x and y. With respect to x, 2x, y is constant. With respect to y, x is constant minus 2y. Okay. Yes. And next, with respect to uh, v, with respect to x. With respect to x, 2y is constant into 1. With respect to y, 2x is constant. Derivative of y with respect to y is 1. Now, I have to simplify that. What we get actually? Then the simplification is explained already so many times. Plus, minus. Okay, fine. Uh, 4x square minus into minus plus 4y square. What's the common factor? 4 into x square plus y square. Similarly, I find out the Jacobian of xy 
with respect to R and theta. Again, from the definition of Jacobian, this can be written as partial derivative of x with respect to r with respect to theta, partial derivative of y with respect to r with respect to theta. Partial derivative of x with respect to r, the given already x and y function of r and theta, pass theta into 1. r into what is partial derivative of uh, Partial derivative of x with respect to theta, r is constant, derivative of cos theta is minus sin theta. And then, yeah, and then, uh, what is actually this value is nothing but uh, dou y by dou r is sin theta. r into what is derivative of sin theta is theta. Simplify that, cos square, uh, r into, yeah, r into cos square theta, yeah. Alternatively, we have to write it properly for this. Yeah, r into cos square theta. Yeah, once you go upper r of minus minus of minus plus r sin square theta. Take r is common. What is r? r is nothing but cos square theta plus sin square theta. What we get actually? r. Okay. Then, I to substitute these two values in the required Jacobian of uv with respect to r and theta is nothing but Jacobian of uv with respect to x and y. What is that? 4 into x square plus y square into Jacobian of x square with respect to r and theta is r. But keep in mind, we are finding Jacobian, finding partial derivative of uv with respect to r and theta. We are expecting final solution either in terms of r, in terms of theta may be a constant. But is involving other than r and theta constant is x and y. I try to express this x and y in terms of r and theta. Now you know that what is given x is equal to r cos theta and uh, y is equal to r sin theta. What is my x square? x square is r square cos square theta. What is y square? r square r square sin theta. Sin square theta. Because the given function is r sin theta, what is square of that? r square sin square theta. Okay? That implies what is my x square plus y square? r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta. Take r square is common, cos square theta plus sin square theta. We already know that cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1, we get r square. Finally, we get this is nothing but 4 r cube. This is the answer. This is a way I to find out easily the solution of the given uh, Jacobian. Suppose the given function is a composite function. Whenever the given function is a composite function, in such cases, Better to use the uh, chain rule formula for Jacobian with the help of that you try to find out the solution easily. Okay. I think uh, it's clear everyone for this part. This properties we already discussed in beginning class of the Jacobian. Now before I'm going to wind up the class, whenever the given function is, a, is a, in the form of a composite function, in that case, use the chain rule Jacobian formula and that's why we beginning after the definition of Jacobian, we consider these two properties. Because now here, easily I have to find out. Without x plus x, uh, u and v in terms of r and theta, then I have to find, using this property, easily I have to find out. Once we get this value, don't leave it. Because we are finding a uh, Jacobian of uv with respect to r and theta means we are expecting a solution in terms of r, theta, or constant. Other than that, you simplify that, what they given based on that. Once you simplify that, we get in terms of r. Finally, we get the solution is 4 r cube. Okay. Uh, in the, now, I'm going to wind up uh, Jacobian. In the next class, we are going to discuss maximum, minima for function of two variables. Until you take care, bye, see you.